Hello friends out YouTube land, Asunva here, and today I'm going to be answering BJD Addicts prompt number 50. So prompt number 50 is, what was your dream doll versus the first doll that you purchased? Back in the day, I was learning about BJDs and I had no idea about anything and I actually had like several dream dolls um first and foremost like I had heard about Kroby doll and I was like oh dang you know and I went over to their site and I was all like I knew I wanted a male doll because like you know why wouldn't I want a piece of eye candy on my shelf all the time um, but of course, I was still uncertain about the hobby, so I wasn't quite sure how much I wanted to invest in the hobby quite yet. So my searches led me to more affordable options. So in comes Resinsol and Bibobi. Now, the funny thing was is that I still was very clueless about the hobby in general, and I was very apprehensive to even spend the money that, you know, Resin Soul and Bibobi charges for their dolls, which if, you know, you're a veteran in this hobby, you know that they're actually quite affordable. They're very affordable. But at the time I was like, oh God, that's like a lot of my paycheck. Like, do I want to spend that much like on this hobby that I'm not 100% sure on? I was like, it could be worse though. You know, I could be spending like Kroby doll cash. Like that's really expensive. And I was like, ah, I'll give it a go. And I was very, indecisive. I was indecisive because I saw the Bobobi Apollo, which their company photos were like, okay, all right, I see some potential, all right, okay. And I was torn between the Resin Soul Gang. Now the Resin Soul Gang, I was like, dude, their company photos, like still to this day, I don't know why they haven't changed them, but oh Lord. It was a challenge because I didn't know which one I wanted. So eventually after doing like trials of like bringing the BJD heads into like some cheap form of Photoshop, like and I tried to do my own like face up on them, I decided to go with the Resin Soul Gang. And he was the first doll that I bought. I have never regretted having him. He is by far the most classic, like, most beautiful boy of my collection. So much meaning and so much just love I have poured into this doll. <laughs> so I really enjoy him and I have zero regrets. Eventually, like what had happened with him, because I don't know if you know the whole story or not, but I wanted to upgrade his body because the resin soul bodies are like, mm, they're okay, but they weren't like what I imagined his body to look like. Is that like weird? Is that like weird? It just was too, the resin soul bodies are like really lanky and they're really muscular, like hot man. Like, I don't know, like, you could wash your clothes on those abs like I don't know what is with resin soul and all the details they have with their like muscles but I was like Ugh, it's a little bit too muscly for me so years later I went ahead and I got him the doll family I think it's the third generation body and this is what I was looking for more so you know you know he's got a little bit of definition but nothing too crazy so he has definitely been on a long journey with me. I have loved every bit of it and I've learned through so much through having him. Um, and I'm glad that he was my first doll versus the dream doll initially that I was gonna maybe shell out like hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for. And that's our story. He's had like a million face ups and a million wigs. So, you know, I, I give him all the love. <laughs> I hope you guys out there in YouTube land answer some of these BJD Addicts prompts. They're really fun to do. You can do them and talk for a long time or you can just answer the question quickly and be done with it. It's up to you. Um, you can find the full list of the prompts on my site, which is www.bjdlife.com. As always, we 
wish you all a dolly-tastic day. That's not how he would talk. I wish you guys a dolly-tastic day. Ciao. No, he's not even like that. Bye!